What's up, everybody? Game Drops Pops here. All right, I'm going to show you something really cool that I just discovered. Uh, there is a way that you can change your home screen uh, background on your Wii U. Uh, it's not very hard to do at all. I'm going to have all the links in the description um, when I upload this. Uh, what you need first is to get your SD card from your Wii U, and you need to transfer a few things. Uh, I've already got them ready here on my desktop. Let me show you. These are the two files that you'll need to download. This one, the Rosalina installer, and whatever theme you want. I'll show you now. Uh, there's many themes to share and use. Uh, I'll put this link in there as well. You can see the one that you like. Let's change, I have this one here. I'm gonna change it just for this reference right now. So we're gonna download the red one. And we'll download it like that. There it is there. So now that it's on uh, there, I'm gonna put it into my desktop. So hold on, I'm gonna change it here. So that's it there, you can see it. Extract to desktop, because it needs to look different. So we know that it's different. And now let's go back to my desktop. So that's over here. And what we're gonna need to do is put this Wii U folder into your SD card, the root of your SD card. So follow me along here. I already did it, but I'm gonna show you again. Just drag it into the SD card root, replace. And then you'll see in the Wii U, there's a folder called Rosalina. Go to install, very important. I'm gonna remove these two mem packs. Those are the blue one that I had, and I'm gonna put the red one. So remember that flat file that we had here? You go in here, keep scrolling till you get to the mem packs. Drag them into the install of Rosalina. One, two. And once you have both of them in your Rosalina folder of the install on your Wii U root card, extract it and eject it safely from your computer. Put it into your Wii U. Now you need to have custom firmware or a homebrew channel for this. To work mind you it can't work on just a regular Wii U so keep that in mind put your SD card back into your Wii U turn it on and we have to go to homebrew and there's two Rosalina installers you have to go to the first one first and I'll show you why because if you don't it won't work so uh, I'm gonna go to my Wii U now so hang on tight for that once it turns on we'll be there and we'll do this You'll see probably the blue screen on my Wii U that I installed. Uh, we're gonna turn it to the red one. Actually, I resorted back to the original one because I removed those files, so hold on. Let's get to my Wii U. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's my Wii U. I'm going homebrew. There's two ways you can get there from your internet browser or the homebrew channel if you have it installed. Your choice to which way you're getting in there. And then we're gonna scroll right till we see the Rosalina installer. There's two of them, as I mentioned. Make sure you hit the first one first. When you hear that song, you know you're in good time too. Scroll all the way right. I got a lot of stuff on here, so it's gonna take a second. All right, there's the Rosalinas. See the two? Do the top one first. Load. Press A. Now you have to have those mem packs in there. There we go. It's installing it. Now once this is done, you have to go into the second Rosalina and press A again. Don't leave homebrew yet. Otherwise, it won't in install it. Okay. Hit that one again. All the way right. Go to the second one. Boom. Load. Press A. We'll put in the second part of that. Once that's done, exit the homebrew. And you should have it a custom colored back screen. OK, 
Okay. Out. Leave your exploit whatever way you have it. All right, it should have turned red. And there it is, ah, look at that. And when you switch that, you can see it there. And you can see the tiles. So it's a little revamp of the Wii U screen. And you can have any choice you want. In fact, you can even make your own uh, back screens if you know how. That is an option as well. I like the red and I like the blue. So there's the red. So if you're into Republicans or Democrats, choose your color. Or progressive conservatives or liberals in Canada, or if you want orange for NDP. Green for the Green Party, whatever it is, or whatever color you decide to, to use. That's how easy it is. So I'm gonna get back to my computer and I'll show you my links. And then I'm gonna tell you, I'll put these in the description box when I upload this. It's very quick, very easy. Just follow the steps and you should have no problem. If you have any problems, uh, just turn off your machine, take out the SD card and remove those files. So that's the, again, I'll have all these in my description box later in here when I upload it. Uh, this is my stuff though. Here's my Wii U profile, my Switch friend code, Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, I got a Zazzle store. I'm on Twitter, at Game Drops Pops. My son is going to love this theme changing thing. I'll show it to him when he gets home. Uh, he's behind here sleeping. And I got something on Facebook to show you too. I've got a gaming page, which is autoplay in here. And I have a group page that you can join as well. Uh, if you want to follow this page, go ahead. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on top of everything else. And hopefully you'll hit that like button when you see this video. And I also have a group page that you can join anytime you want. Where is it? All right. I changed it. There it is. So if you want to join this group, post your game streams and videos, go ahead. I know it was only like a five minute video, but I thought it was so cool to show. So uh, I'm going to show this to my son and put it on his Wii U too when he gets home. He's going to love it. All right. So have yourself a great day. I'll do something longer later. Until next time. Peace. Later. Bye.